after hours show. What's up, uh, everybody? So there was well, first off, before we actually get into the nitty gritty, I see uh Hobby Ham was here about five hours ago. And we got the cardeal.com. I only do after hours. My bad attitude is no longer allowed in chats. Signed, no one. <laughs> Anything less would be uncivilized. And we got Corey. Then we have Joe, Kenny. How you doing? And we got White Sox Tom. Appreciate everybody showing up. Welcome, gentlemen. So glad you're here. Arnie, you will never be banned. I live for your comments. Arnie, sorry is unauthorized coming from you now if you're talking out your ass and saying something that's just completely out of this world your daughter's here what's up girl hey what's up (laughs) mini me what's up maddie ice hammer how you doing maddie but yeah no arnie we was catching your comments in the podcast man and everything you've mentioned was nothing less than on point. You know, I don't care how big of real estate you actually own. If it's not filled to the brim with what I went to that store for, the size of it don't matter to me. It really doesn't. You know, and if it doesn't have that, that what I'm looking for in its entirety, better have something that is is as close to it to be quite honest, you know? And I mean, there was a, a, a comment there about uh, through the decades, how they've got a, a shitload of real estate in the middle of the floor that is just unused. Well, mispurposed is the word that I'm going to go ahead and use based off the comments. But in all actuality, I think it does serve its purpose because it gives the the public a little space to actually commingle with each other because again in that video they were predominantly talking about the 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 tcg uh things of the hobby where you know they do have a little spot in the middle of that store where you could actually go and get your game on with pokemon cards magic the gathering because i remember years ago and my daughter who's actually in the chat won't remember this because she was still in the carriage on weekends when we was in north carolina we would actually go to books a million with her brothers and i would actually get them involved in Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments nice you know so that's a good way to get everybody uh, uh acquainted with everyone you know i mean makes sense to me Lockin, well, yeah. how we doing what's up Lockin, kenny Hammer 44. Doug, how we doing? Um, I got a comic book shop in town and they've got um like Pokemon and term and that place is packed for those tournaments. Packed. So and this I is imagine we don't see every day. I imagine in that place, Ribbon for Rookies is here at this hour. He's actually here. What is going on? The audacity. Um, I imagine in that place is in a bigger city like that. I bet you that place gets packed when they're doing like, oh yeah, definitely. Events. If you make a space for kids or even adults, because I mean, just to show support to the kids, I would actually uh get in on a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh packs and and you know I'll get down there and and you know hustle the little kids just because I can but in a respectable, fun manner. Okay, so Mike is here because he's off tomorrow. First time in 12 days. My God. I do appreciate you hanging out, Mike. My sister is here for the After Hour show. Uh, What's up, Allison? I hear you was inquiring about who this Jeff Wilson is. I would highly recommend to you It's best that you do not know who this gentleman is. (laughs) So right after the podcast, guys, uh, my sister's texting me like, who's Jeff Wilson? I want to know about this book. And so I'm trying to give her the lowdown. I'm like, I'm so jealous that you don't know who he is. Just remember that time, that happy time in our life. Yeah. Know who Jeff Wilson is. Those were the days. (laughs) Oh, man. 
Yeah, we, we're trying not to there, Arnie. What's Arnie? Please don't poison her mind. Oh, I'm doing my best. She's in good hands, though. Yeah. My brother-in-law knows what he's doing. Okay. So what are everybody's thoughts on what we spoke about on the podcast? You know, what sticks out to you most? We can probably uh, dive in a little bit deeper. What's up, Nikki, two times? Nikki, how you doing? Sean, glad you can make it. So, yeah, here, here's a question for everybody. Pick your poison. Would you go to the National or would you go try out the first inaugural uh, uh, fan fest from Fanatics? Oh, yeah. I am curious what people thought about that. And I just clicked on the link that Jeremy, 2011 Cards fan, is a little... Oh, snap. It's an SGC re reveal of a 1980... Ricky Henderson rookie card. Nice. So you guys check that out when you later when you have a second. Nice little short. See hey Adam, short. how you doing? Adam, what's up? Doug's going so, to the national. Adrian sent this to me and, and um made a little comment about three reasons why you would actually go to Fan Fest. And I actually gave my perspective because if it was up if i had a choice i would definitely go to the fan fest one i am from new york city born and raised that's one so basically fan fest is in my backyard two is the jacob javits center is drastically smaller than any of the nationals like in atlantic city cleveland chicago it's a lot smaller so it won't be as overwhelming. That's two. And then number three, I do know and fully are aware that at the National, they do a whole bunch of giveaways and freebies and, and all that good stuff. But just think about the promotions and, and free stuff for the public that Fanatics will have at this event for those that actually uh, go to it, especially it being the very first. I was given my two cents about being on the West Coast and the cost of me going to Cleveland already sucks. The cost hey, of Jeremy, how you doing? What's up, Jeremy? The, the cost of going to New York is going to suck worse. I would prefer to go to New York mm -hmm. over Cleveland. Um. So now I'm like waiting for whatever is going to be the West Coast thing. And I've never done the whole Burbank thing. That's another thing that's. Um, I mean, the on the mind. West Coast, because I've, 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 I mean, I've gone to the West Coast a few times, but what would where would be an ideal location to host a national on the West Coast? Vegas, I mean, obviously, California, Vegas. No, no, not there. Las Vegas. 100%. Okay. They've got. They've got the um, the convention centers. Pick a hotel. It would be cool if it was, there were like in all the hotels, and you had to like go to each one of them. Mm -hmm. Everything's within everything's within walking distance of each other. Like wherever the cards are at, then you got food, you got entertainment, you got everything. You got you, wherever you're staying at. Flights to Vegas are usually inexpensive. Yes, that's a good one. Um, there's a comment that we're, we're scrolling past. I was waiting for the right moment. Um, let's see. Scroll, scroll, scroll. 2011 Cards fan asks, who do you think is worse, Jeff or Jabs? 100%, not even a question to me, Jeff Wilson is worse. Not even a question. Is he? Oh, 100%. Okay. I would Here's have to take the different and go with Jabs. Okay. Let me tell you why you're wrong. Okay. Let me tell you why you're wrong. I go to Jab's channel. I don't have he never he never says like I don't have I don't have to watch his stuff. I don't have to be in his Patreon. I don't have to do any of that stuff to watch him open cards and stuff like that. 
Jeff Wilson is like, you should invest in this guy. You should do this. You should do that. You should do this and that. Blah, blah, blah. Get into, buy my market movers, buy this. Like uh, I promote this. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, I don't feel like, like I get it with the whole jabs, him and him being annoying and stuff. And like, I know people are annoyed with the Patreon thing and getting his, like there's other people that, that do that. And it, I feel, really feel like it weeds out the, the non-serious people. So that doesn't bother me as much, but I don't feel like when I watched jabs, I ever felt like I had to give him money for any, anything. If, if that makes sense. All right. I didn't feel imposed upon okay. unless I let it. And I feel like Jeff Wilson is just like, Oh, it's this, that, that, buy my well, book. There's a buy lot my, of comments that my are website. kind yeah. of supporting your decision. Oh my God. Yes. Doug, there you go. We all started with jabs. I can't like, I got to imagine he's just a guy trying to figure stuff out and maybe he hasn't always made the best decision, but I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like as pressured by him. So. Well, I, I mean, know. you have the, the choice on whether or not you take advice from anybody who claims to be an influencer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, there's times where there's, there's, there's channels out there or individuals that has, a larger platform than mine in the hobby where not there's there's times where I don't take the positives of what they say. I take the negatives and I use that as a method of what not to do in my collecting habits. Or if I'm looking at trying to uh, uh, give pointers on getting yourself involved in the hobby. Because to be honest, you know, there's a couple of individuals that I myself have actually pitched the whole idea of getting into the hobby for, but I don't give them my perspective. I just, I leave it very vague, very general. If you're looking to collect, okay, only you know what you're going to be targeting. I can tell you where to get it. I can tell you how to get it. I'm not going to tell you what to get because it's, it's, I, to me, it's like somebody telling me what to do with my money. Yeah. I don't feel that way with jabs. Like I feel that way with, with Jeff. And, and then furthermore, if I'm going to take it a step further for us being baseball card lovers, not, we don't get dabbling a whole lot of other sports. Jabs is pretty much baseball. Uh huh. He's dabbled here and there for like April Fool's Day and stuff like that. Right. But I don't know. I just, I can, I can turn on and watch a jabs like video where he opens cards. And bear with me because I know how you feel about his voice, but I can turn on his video and not be like, I can watch and not be annoyed by watching the rip. But I, I have turned on Jeff Wilson videos and shut them off because I'm just like, oh my God stop talking just I, I throw it up in my mouth right now by the information you're giving people i can't take it well there's some information that comes from that platform that i do find beneficial it's not from jeff specifically though mm -hmm. okay again i do like when teapot actually does videos a lot of the stuff i don't agree with mm -hmm. that he does but mm -hmm. for the most part I like his analytical delivery. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> like whenever Jeff is jumping on doing his top five, the mm -hmm. moment you told me that Bo Bichette was an LA Dodger, I lost all hope and faith with Jeff. My Wilson. God. Okay. I can get past that. I obviously he misspoke and he doesn't know, but he's baseball is not his number one, but all the, I don't know. It's just, he's, I watched his, uh, I think it was his podcast format thing, the Jeff Wilson show the other day where he's talking to the two guys he went in business with. And he was like, he's like, Oh, I want to do the next thing. I want to do the next thing. I want to do the next thing. And I'm just like, why don't you work on some of the stuff you've already done and make it better? Because mm -hmm. some of it's crap, some of it's garbage. And you're just worried about doing the next thing and being the next, the first at everything. Why right. don't you focus a little bit on being the best at something? Like, Right now, when I think about Cards H2 and all this stuff, you're doing these cool things that are, like, they'd be so much better if you were focused on making them better. I, I, I don't feel like you, I don't know. You know what? 
I don't know. I, I want to say it's a safe assumption that Jeff is not the one that's coming up with all these cards HQ ideas. Because remember, he's not he 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 has two other partners, mm -hmm. so they have equal uh, uh, creativity with how Cards HQ was ran. Do you really think so? Do you really I'm think almost, so? I'm almost. If I was a betting man, I would I would go out and say. It wasn't his idea to put comp stations at Cards HQ, but it was his idea to use the market movers at. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I was reading Arnie's thing, market manipulation. When you are unable to answer someone who questioned you, you are a liar and deceitful person. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I just... <laughs> we got some good comments tonight. I love it. Cards Q is not, is not anything special, simply a card shop. Please tell me why you would want to go to a shop and pay recent full comp. Yeah, that's that's a big thing. That's actually huge when uh -huh. you think about it. If I go to a card shop, I'm not going to pay what eBay price is on anything. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You're not going to give me let me return it. You're not going to let me... Um, you're not going to ship... Like... I, because I'm pretty teams, sure their inventory was based on deals. Yeah, I don't know. I I just this this talking about we're, we're talking about him too much tonight. It's making me want to throw up. Like One thing gone. that we did not touch on at all, even on the podcast, this whole story about 1.3 or 13 million cars just randomly disappearing. Um. And Car Collectors 2's name was thrown into it. I didn't. Re I, we did talk about that story, but I didn't perceive it that way. The what that 1.3 had to do with Star Stock, correct? No, there was. So, for, and I and I got this from Sports Car Radio, and I'm yeah. probably misinterpreted. But yeah. there was a little thing that they talked about where there was a substantial amount of cars that were randomly stolen, if you will. Car collector's name was involved. Mark's cards was involved, and it had to do with uh, sending off a grading. Okay. And I guess I might the have orders were not paid for, mm -hmm. so the cards were never claimed. Uh, okay, you know what? I got these two stories mixed up, and thinking they were all okay. Um, that whole thing with Mark's cards. Old, older story, but good, important one to know was a a group submitter. He would you would send cards to Mark cards for him to submit to you to PSA, and he ended up uh, like ripping a bunch of people off. Like he, people would pay sometimes express service stuff to, for him to submit. He was submitting them at the lower level, and at some point, I, I it sounds like he was just taking their money and not submitting their cards at all. Or he submitted them and now and never paid PSA. And now PSA has them. And it's like, oh, I'm going to guess after a certain amount of time. Okay, we didn't talk about this because I got this mixed up with something else. Like, after a certain amount of time, PSA, like, keeps them. And I imagine there's got to be something in in the fine print, something you sign when you join, yeah. whatever. Um, and Cards Collector 2 was mixed up in that because he, people were sending cards to Card Collector 2 to submit and he was sending them to Mark's cards, mm -hmm. which, dude. No, we kind of touched up on it there, Tom. We talked about that towards the end, Tom, at the very end of the banter. Yeah. So I was telling, I was saying he should, like, where was his uh, YouTube channel? <laughs> we're opening that much like product or or yeah, buying that product, product. like what, show me what, show me what you it. bought yeah oh and we didn't i did mean to say in banter we talked about it kind of but we did i meant to talk about more in banter that uh arnie car at cards.com pulled a super fractor juan soto out of big league for Corey sear who's here so tonight congratulations Corey. That was freaking epic out of all people, though, I would have had somebody else pull it. No, I'm just kidding, Arnie. But um, on a different note, though, so there was a 20-minute live stream that Adrian sent me the other day 
from uh, none other than what the hell is his damn name? Ziggy No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, there's times where I think that dude just goes live and complains just to hear himself complain. You know, I mean, some there's some things that he does talk about that does make sense, like something about how it would be nice if LCSs would, you know, in order to embrace the positivity within the hobby, if you have a customer and the uh, example that he used with a little kid, you know, little Timmy, mm -hmm. he pulls a card that holds a little bit of value out of a pack or whatever the case may be. And it's kind of dinged up. You know, we've all been down that road where we pulled something nice, but it looked like somebody's been chewing on it. Mm -hmm. You know, he brings it to the store and it would be nice if that LCS owner or the an employee from that LCS would be like, you know what? Let's see what we can do to make this right for you. You yeah. know, but unfortunately, not everybody thinks that way. I'm going to share that because Ziggy's usually in our things all the time supporting us so timmy's international there wills T timmy likes to get involved with everything and anything possible all right. <laughs> will that work we all have our opinions not all being factual but i always learn to give them time and a chance um okay i just put the link to that youtube to ziggy's thing in there um, cause he, he posts videos almost every day and he's like touches, but he tries to touch base on everything. And yeah. some, some of his stuff, I agree with some of the stuff. I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, yeah, he holds what? live streams, but doesn't respond to anybody in the chat. Oh, he, he, he has, no, uh, he has premieres, premieres it, but yeah, you know, like, I don't, uh, but he's never in the chat for his premieres. I, and I was giving him, I was giving him, uh, in the comments of one of my videos that he was giving me, he was like, why are you at five minutes at the beginning? Like when we start the podcast, yeah. We talk about, well, you got five minutes of waiting time at the beginning of that. Especially like, with bad music. I, <laughs> I was like, I was like, we just waiting for people. It's so, it's so people get their activations and they get there. And then, uh, he's like, Oh, it should be like two minutes. Like, I guess you get more ad time that way. And I'm just like, what the, I guess, to each his own like it's the same as somebody having a premiere and not being in the live chat for their own premiere so anyways it was we were, I'm, I'm gonna just, say i'm okay. gonna say it because i just don't give a damn ziggy when you're relevant come talk to us oh damn i said it <laughs> wow i was you don't like it jeez he said it not me <laughs> I'm like Hey, I, I don't feel like I don't I feel like man. I feel like being mean a lot, but I don't feel like being that mean right now. And see, that's the that's we, what we're not sense. relevant either. <laughs> and that's the thing, relevant. though. You know, that's why you and I are like yin and yang. You're yeah. the voice of reason. <laughs> Me, nope. I choose violence every opportunity I can. <laughs> three pointer, three pointer from downtown. Damn. Yes. <laughs> I mean, seriously, and. He has the audacity to to say that he to consider himself a a watchdog. Really? That that no, I I don't get I, it. I, I, wasn't, I really don't. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting this. Um, he's got two thousand subscribers, and that's cool and all. But again, what does he bring into the hobby? Well, in this case, don't worry, I'll wait. In this case, I thought that was a good idea. Um, about like if somebody pulls a ding card in the in the card shop, helping out, I thought that was a good idea. Um, I think he has another channel. I don't know if he still do like the card hunter where he's like talking about only but he's buying into breaks this year and he's only buying team like certain teams and stuff like that. So. Appreciate that, Kenny. Joe. Anyways, God dang, how's everybody doing tonight? I mean, I'm just it's it's it's, it's really getting to a point where a lot of these individuals who claim to be watchdogs or have issues with these influencers, you know, they 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 mention a lot 
about problems and issues within the hobby. And every now and then you'll get a drop of a solution. Mm -hmm. If you're going to identify a problem, come up with a fix. If not, shut the hell up. That's just the way I look at it. That's fair. That's fair. I like that. I like that. Or some ideas for a fix, at least. Yeah. So, um, do you guys hear about the big debacle in Heritage with Flipstock? No, I have do, not. Do share, Floyd fan. Please. Yes, the one-on-one Soto epic. Here's a question about that too, Arnie, about that one-on-one. Has that been clipped and sent off to If Sports? Oh. Yeah, that would be an honorable mention for sure, at least. At, at least. The minimum, yeah. He starts talking. It's like tipping one over a dumpster. I stopped following him a week ago. That's fair. I guess I I don't I feel like Ziggy and like reminds me in a way reminds me of of SCV. Like I know what they're saying. They want me to comment and want me to react. SCV's <laughs> another crap thing. And I'm just like Okay, I know it's not falling for it, but here's the thought. In place of relying on any watchdog content, use that time to put in the damn work and educate yourselves. To be successful in anything, you need education and so much free info available. This this That's a very good um, observation and point, Arnie. I'll even add to that, Arnie. If you're going to take advice from somebody, take it from a reliable source like a friend or somebody that you know who is actually in the hobby and has been around for a little bit. Because chances are you're not going to get shammed or bamboozled by that friend. Bamboozled. Don't fall. Don't take our advice. We don't know what we're doing. I just tell you like it is. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say I know everything, but if if you tell me that it looks like shit and it smells like shit, but it's actually a chocolate brownie, I'm going to call you on it. <laughs> Someone that has your best interest. Well, there we go. Did there you hear about the massive vintage deal done by baseball collector and Chris Sewell at 120K? No. Baseball collector and Chris. I'll have to check that out. Yes, exactly. Someone. We know Beast. Yeah, we... Beast, you're an exception to the rule. Because, hell, I've been in the game now a minute, and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say, I know enough because I really don't. I don't know anything either because I can't figure out half the time like why some like Hall of Famers vintage cards are less expensive than somebody that hasn't been in the MLB yet. Like I don't get it. Okay, like so other than fan says Flipstock got overprinted. His LCS owner got a hot box of Flipstock and he said he thinks they accidentally hit 50 to 500 on the printer. Instead of five, so there's hot boxes, boxes of, them. of them. Oh, interesting. That kind of reminds me of that Bowman break that we saw where there was like 98 autographs pulled in one damn case. That Bowman Sapphire, yeah, yeah on uh, Blaze Baseball, yeah. That was insane. Those are the kind of oopsies we do appreciate around here, though. Mike, the guy from Chasing Cardboard. Yeah, he's yeah. another one. The guy from Chasing Cardboard. <sighs> Is that I look at him kind of Jeff Wilson-ish. If the tie tie the tie guy. Tie, yes. I feel like I don't mm -hmm. I feel like the other guy, Mike, I'm a, I'm cool with. I yeah. think at least it, Mike knows what guy he's talking about. It's sketchy to me. So yeah, I do. I want one of those types of boxes too. It's to do the same thing as an influence contact. It critique. Yeah. Yep. 
But what's funny, though, is some individuals who claim the title of influencer, they drop these YouTube videos talking about, I spent 100 k in 30 minutes at the Burbank Card Show. <laughs> yep. Like, uh, he hasn't mentioned that he was an influencer, and I hope he doesn't for his sake, because if he does, I'm going to roast his ass. Who's that? Uh, Justin Gamble Gamble. Does he even <laughs> still make videos? He still makes videos. Oh. Uh, the last show he was at was at Chantilly. Huh. And he made a video actually on how he made a $100 profit in under 30 seconds. So go figure. Yeah, Mike I is can't. all about vintage. Yep, he yeah. sure is. Yep. I can't. I can't with that that guy. Mike is good people. Yeah. Mike is definitely somebody that I would love to pick his brain in regards to the hobby. He'll, he'll shoot you straight. That's a good point there, Beast. We all are influencers in our own special way mm -hmm. within the community. What else we got? We have... Uh, trying to think um so yeah kind of like what adrian was saying earlier it she did drop the link to the sports car collecting and investing for dummies book just for formalities i highly advise don't pick it up i plan on reading this from start to finish and i will come on the uh the podcast at some point once i'm done and give you a honest assessment of the book. I'm going to be very transparent with both good and bad from the book. And then with that information that I do give you, you can make a decision if you want to go ahead and pick it up for yourself or not. So... Okay, so John Beast is dropping a, a a monster mega box of Heritage for Rocky. Make nice. sure you go check that out. What's up, uh, uh, Jason? Huh? Is it a pop up book? <laughs> I, guess, I, I, I I guess they may have pop up books, but um. No, he's talking about like remember old school pop up book when you're yeah. kid, you opened it up and all the stuff, like <laughs> definitely. <sighs> but some up, some upcoming things that 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 is going on. I do know that you're holding a card sale tomorrow. I, I'm working on it as we speak. Awesome. Tomorrow. So make sure card not going to give too much details on it because I don't know much about it anyway i do know that at 7 p.m eastern uh adrian is going live to do a card sale we no longer have the pleasure of using um damn i even forgot the, the damn silco. name there you go silco whoa whoa oh snap long ball cards dropping a bomb i appreciate that long ball thank you long ball Hey, uh, Longball, at some point, you're going to need to drop a comment on this live stream. Let me know what your PSN name is so we could do an invite on a go, you know, do a little one on one on MLB the show. Nice. Nikki, my sales tomorrow. That sale tomorrow. I do not, Jason. Thank you, Criterium Racer. So, yeah, make sure y'all go check out that. Uh, that live stream that Adrian's got going on tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to be there, obviously, because I'm just curious. And who knows? I might just pick up a thing or two, maybe. But um, other than that, uh, I do have a video that's going to be coming out here shortly. I'm waiting on my PSA order to come in. And once that does come in, I'll actually start working on part one of my three-part series to the J-Rod Show sequel. J Rod show. So I'm looking forward to that one. 
And then uh, what else we got going on here? Appreciate that, Corey. Anybody's got anything going on, feel free to go ahead and advertise any upcoming events in the chat. Sharing is caring. You all got blue wrenches. Nikki says he needs some 1v1 M MLB the show. Well, you could drop your PSN name in the chat too then, Nikki. I'll send you a, a, a friend request and we could get it on too. I ain't scared of you. <laughs> Okay, Sean says his PSA Yogi Auto was sick. Adrian, thank you. Nice, nice. Your other ones just came in the mail today too. Okay, Jason's got a poker, a live poker tournament tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern. Cool, cool. Poker. I have. Well, we can't play on a cross count uh, console there, Joe. Why not? They don't do no more. No, they do. That's what I'm saying. They do. Oh. Okay, Beast got a, a an available box for forty five dollars ship of Heritage. If you're interested, nice. Speaking of that, I still got two boxes of Big League. I need to crack into also. What is taking you so long? Then you might have a super fractor in there. Shoot, Arnie took them all. <laughs> he only got one. You might have the Dominguez in there, man. Oh, you got a question about the the sale there, Adrian? So how are you doing your sale, Adrian? Been wanting to drop by, but don't know how to use. Okay, yeah, don't worry about it, fully fan, because there's no more um Silco. It's just gonna be PayPal. It's gonna be like kind of like how uh, Peds and Ethan do. I'm like working on his, like uh, I'm gonna show cards, and you guys will say sold in the chat kind of thing. I'm gonna show like dollar cards, two dollars, three dollars, five. I got some graded stuff, all got all kinds of stuff. Uh, little little increments, and uh, it'll all just be tallied at the end. Shipping added, paid on PayPal. Hopefully, easy peasy, parch easy. Yep, there you go. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, Arnie's got a a forty blaster case at thirty five dollars a spot of big league. Awesome. Uh oh. Somebody's getting ready to go night night. We got um we got our sixty dollar fanatics credit. That's right. For fanatics too. We gotta do. I think we gotta do like a live video or something like that when we figure out what we're doing with that. Y oh, yeah. So if y'all are PSA members, you got like credit for to fanatics live, like sixty dollars credit. And uh I'm gonna get some. Some hits over there, hopefully. Yeah. Good. And uh, if I had any suggestions on who to actually break with, there's only two channels that I actually deal with. One being hit seekers, especially when Natty is actually doing the break. Only when Natty's. Yes. <laughs> I'm only I'm only going to hit seekers with for Natty. Yeah, exactly, be because there's that's nobody it. else on that on that squad that I would want to break with besides Natty. Because Natty, he's a character. Love him to oh death. Oh, my God. I love it. I love you know, it. And uh, I'm trying to pull up the reason why he's had <laughs> a, a, a moment on his, uh, on his channel, and um, it, it resonates with you, and it lets you know... You know, these are kind of people. I exactly. So, I, I, if you can't find it quick enough, I'm I'm happy to recite it. I'm happy to recite it. Well, but, it sounds better when 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 does he does sound it. Better though. when Arnie. I mean, uh, <laughs> Arnie. I can imagine Arnie saying it too. Um, it does say sound better when Natty does it. it yeah. <laughs> and I'm actually looking for it now. I'll get to it. But mm -hmm. the other channel that um. That I'm talking about would be uh OPC oh, baseball. Yeah, they're awesome. So Ziggy's in the house. We're done talking shit about you, man. And you just... <laughs> no, what's yeah. up? Don't pick a breaker, pick the product and price. There's nothing special about a person opening cards. Don't fill their heads with BS. 
they open boxes. Wait, what? Uh, I like, though, I like to watch people that open cards and they're passionate about stuff. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Nordy! This is Nordy! Daddy, guys. Hit Seekers, Daddy. Hold on to your butthole, Nordy! <laughs> Hold on to your butthole! I pay for that right there. That's what I pay extra for that right here. I would pay for I'm this holding. right over. I'm holding. I'm clenching right now. Gold. Vinyl. <laughs> it's a rookie. It's a diamond back. Holy shnikes, Nordy. Corbin Carroll, one of Woo. What breaker entertains you like that? Don't worry, I'll wait. There's some, there are some. I, okay, you know my new thing that I hate? Uh, breakers, and I know they all do it, and I get why they do it, but I hate it, and I don't even watch anymore because I don't care. Okay. The slow reveal. The, the, the slow reveal, I can't stand it. I can't, I can, I can, I can handle it for like maybe two seconds, maybe. When you're, you're revealing that card, and they're like, yeah, doing this. Doing this, and I'm just like, well, if I'm it's something click, huge, I'm gone. click, I'm if gone. It's something huge, I would completely expect a slow reveal. If it's something huge, I'll watch a picture of it on Instagram later. I'm not watching your. Sh I'm not gonna watch you fucking do that for 30 seconds of my my fucking time anymore. I'm over it. 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 Well, Ziggy, if you feel that way, maybe you should start getting into breaks and set the standard for everybody else. How about that? <laughs> Um, they think they are entertaining. Open the box. Okay. I like the entertaining. I like there's gotta be good. I feel like the, and I feel like not everybody is for everybody. For because I, I imagine there's people that like watch and they're all into that slow reveal like like stuff. And I I don't know. It changes. We don't all we don't all um, like the same things. Obviously, there, like there's a lot of like younger people in the cut. Like I'm old, dude. I'm like I'm I'm in my forties, man. I don't. There you go, Magnus. I'm, as soon as somebody starts saying the word "bruh" too much, I cl click. I'm gone. I'm, I'm done. I don't have enough time. Cards. In a break, I pay for cards and I pay for entertainment. Simple enough. Whoa. Arnie is hangry and did not have his Taco Bell tonight, and he's pissed. He's here to let y'all know that he ain't taking none of your BS. I'm not too far behind. Not taking any BS. And again, everybody has their own preference. I'm not going to sit here and tell you you need to go break with these individuals. If they're not your cup of tea, hey, by all means, that's just more for me. Okay? I don't mind spending the money that I earned breaking my damn body for 22 years in the military to, to laugh and look at men on cardboard. All I want to do is look at men on cardboard and I want to fondle the cards too. That's all I want to do. I want to laugh while That's I'm watching. That's my business. Too. That's my business. I do what I want. Breakers should be regulated. Really? How so? You do realize regulation requires the act of Congress. There's <laughs> nothing. There's nothing. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a medium slow review kind of guy myself. So. <laughs> Longbar, you aren't you. You're not actually. I've been in plenty of breaks. Like you take like an extra second. I get the extra second, but there's some people like that are so. Ugh. Regulation is a state or local, but okay. guess what? Who makes those regulations? Elected officials, Ziggy. Come on, don't speak politics to me, man. I've right. taken law for four years. We can play yeah. this game. Oh my goodness, Arnie wants to punch somebody tonight. <laughs> Adam, I, I'm having a chipper night. My barber has a license and regulated by my city. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I see what he's saying here. I mean, okay, I, 
you're mixing apples and oranges. Yes, they're both fruits, but we're talking about two th completely different entities. So I'm not even going to go that route. Well, in that example that he gave, um, I feel like there are more monies on the line with cards than it is with your barber. I, don't I know. could be wrong. Uh, you know what, Ziggy? I'm not even going to entertain that. You, you, you do what you do, man. I mean, honestly, if you think you know more than I do, go ahead and drop your premieres. Speak about it. If you want to mention my name that I don't know anything, John Rodriguez, make sure you get the name right. I don't know if I can handle this this um level of um intensity right now. I just want to play I just want to play with so my bipolar is kicking in. <laughs> I know, man. If you don't know politics, you don't know politics, you think Congress makes the laws. <laughs> Oh my God, Ziggy! I would stop while you're ahead. I really would. I'm not talking down. Okay, I'm just telling you like it is. That's that's that. Okay, th th let's let's entertain this for a second. How many letters have you wrote into Congress or or to your state? It's easy to rant if you don't listen. Are you speaking by yourself? Does he mean that? I'm just I'm I'm wondering what what steps if this is a, a major concern to you what steps have you done to see that breakers are regulated or are you just saying like it's something that we all should be doing but you haven't done yourself if now if you have taken steps please enlighten me the barber is Congress set his licensing no I just dislike these blanket statements Hunter have licensing. Those licenses require require are usually found with requirements that are set forth by state law. Who makes state law? Yeah, don't worry, I'll wait. Wait, are we even talking about what are we even talking anymore? Yes, yes. You guys want to see some stuff that's for sale tomorrow? On a different note, because I'm I'm, I'm getting pissed. Um. So, yeah, I'm thinking I might, I'm going to take, shit. There. I'm just doing some stuff that's going to be in the sale. These are all dollar cards, FYI. Mm, those are not PSA 10s anymore. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now there's that one. Now there's that one. That one went from a nine to a six. Yep. Ooh, these are really cool looking. James Outman, real to real. I've seen a lot of A's up in that damn lineup you got there, Adrian. I know. I don't know if those are. Oh, those are doubles. Ah, okay. Those were doubles. That's why. Okay, the last. Two in here. Those are these are just Boba the best cards. I haven't even got gotten out the rest. There's a Bobo. There's Yoshida debut. Okay, Patrick, you take pay. Yes, Tom, I'm gonna be doing all just PayPal tomorrow. John, calm down. Listen to your video. My point is, breakers should be regulated. It can only happen at state level. State regulates lotto, etc., not Congress. So I, I think, think the approach that I'm going to be taking with uh, one of these hobby boxes is the approach that you do with your uh, your stadium club shorts. Oh, okay. Just open up a pack every other day. Yeah. You know, just... Just for shits and giggles. You have ignored everything since coming to my room. Traffic far and late. <laughs> but um, I don't even know what to say anymore. Because it's, <laughs> it's, almost like, it's almost like not fun anymore. I get the whole, like, it would be nice if they, it was regulated to make sure people were doing things fairly. It would be nice. How? 
I don't have an idea exactly how to resolve this, so I don't really want to speak too much on it unless I like had an idea. So let, let's say you got you want to be a breaker, you got to get a license to be a breaker. Okay. I'm I, I go through whatever I need to go through and I get licensed. Who's regulating me now? Who in my my local government is gonna regulate me and how are they going to regulate me? Are they gonna come in and like view videos? like once in a while and make sure I'm doing things a certain way. And if I'm not, am I going to get, am I going to lose my licensing? Cause I mean, there was talk it? that, you know, the, 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 the idea of breaking is deemed gambling, if you will. And I mm -hmm. know it's illegal in mm -hmm. many parts of the country. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that part of regulating, I can see. But mm -hmm. at the same time, at that point, I think somebody made a mention in a video in the past that elected officials would be the ones to come up with guidelines for regulating uh, breaking. Mm -hmm. So he's making a uh, he's just uh, put in a comment. Fanatics should only sell to licensed breakers. No different than that alcohol or all that. OK, <clears throat> no different than alcohol or lotto. So my mind automatically goes to. Everybody's already corrupt, I feel like, anyway. Like, Fanatics is going to sell to these license breakers, and these license breakers are only going to be, like, certain people. I just feel like it's just more... Because here's the thing. It's like with a carry, a, a concealed carry license, okay? For the state of Florida, we can normally obtain those through our Department of Agriculture. Now... The rules and regulations on obtaining said license okay are deviated from state laws for your state elected officials meaning your state congressmen or women um uh, the the house of representatives for the state level and i do appreciate the super chat there clover happy to catch you two live been busy lately and seems the car community it never live this late or maybe a bunch of the smaller channels have quit Hmm. Well, I'm gonna tell you now, the podcast ain't going nowhere no time soon. Mm -hmm. So Longball says, "Yeah, I will say this. I generally don't like regulation, but if getting a breaking license meant I could get allocations at better cost, I consider that." Yeah, it's a give and take. You see the videos of wives ranting about husband buying cards. Wait for parents to scream about kids getting raped. Okay, okay. I you feel like we hold the fuck on. Okay, now, okay, now I'm fucking done. I, you guys, we're these are fucking baseball cards. We're just trying to have fun here. Jesus fucking Christ, are you serious with this shit right now? Like, like, I hope there's no kids watching this right now, and I hope they never do because if if like if they came in and saw this stuff like that, like the whole we're missing the whole point. The whole point. I like baseball. I go to baseball games. I want to collect something of my player. I like we're taking this to a level that I don't even fucking want to understand. I don't even want to understand it. Why you would compare those two things? My thing is, is, if you're that far in and you're spending that kind of money, and you're concerned about that kinds of thing, those kinds of things, there. I think there's something wrong with you. Jesus. Jesus. This is the first time we've ever done this, and I'm just like, "Are we done yet?" <laughs> I can't. Wait. I can't wait to like be done with this. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Is. Oh, and here come right on cue. My dog heard me. My lab, and she's like, mm -hmm. "Are you okay, your mom? What's going on in here?" Holy moly! Yes, I feel like we're taking it too far. Millions spent on cards. And you use kids as shields. Wow. Wow. On that note, we're going to go ahead and end this I, stream now. Hold on. No, we're not. What? Please. Please don't. I'm sorry. This is your channel, not mine. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> there's nothing that I would I would love more like I have my, my niece like I'd love for her to get into cards and like do like she, for a brief second she was like in the Texas Ranger cards there's nothing like I never 
like the amount of money and all this money and all this like corrupt bullshit that's going on. That stuff never like this was supposed to be fun. <laughs> supposed to be fun for thinking thing thinking about things at that kind of level. You guys are like if you're trying to make a living and like get big money off cards. Like I I, I think you're weird. I think this is supposed to be for fun. Like a little bit of money made here and there for more cards for a fun collection. Like cool, but good lord. Jiggy, we're parents too. The, if hobby, if kids, what parent not standing by? I don't want kids in. I don't want kids in card into cards. You don't want kids into cards. I'm not this. I'm not this. It's my hobby. Look, you know what? There you go. This, car, this is done. supposed to be for fun. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> you don't I'm want done. kids to card stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I think he's drunk. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say like this. I'm looking forward to his next premiere because I'm sure I'm going to get my name ran in the dirt with that. And I don't give a fuck. And yes, I am not monetizing this live stream. I might not even show it. I just, this still like took a, t a whole new level. Like, I'm just gonna throw this out there. Mr. Enfuego and I do this every week for fun. Like, we, this was a, this is a fun hobby for us. Yeah. You think we're making money doing this shit? Even our, both of our channels go like, we got, like, we got a few more subscribers. We're feeling good. We're feeling proud of ourselves. You think we're making money doing this? We're doing this to like because we enjoy because we enjoy it. We're trying to have fun. We pull a sweet card that's worth 50 bucks. We lose our freaking minds. Lose my mind. People talking about regulating and like like no oh, it's like mega money and stuff. My, I, I, this is the first time it's gone this I've gone ethnic. Okay. This is we this has never have happened on here her, on we, before. We, we bullshit on the stream a lot, but it's never gone to this extent. Yeah. I just. Wow. So yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. If this. Uh, I do want to apologize yeah. in advance. This <laughs> was completely not what we expected. Yeah. And I will assure you, this is the last time it's going to happen. Yeah. I'm a little, I'm, I mean, I know Ziggy always likes to like, you know, he, he poked the wrong bear. He today. always likes to poke a little bit, but I didn't think he would like go. He poked I, the wrong fucking bear today. Wow. Over, over sports cards, over sports cards. I, this is, it's fun. Grow up, man. Grow up. For my, sorry, Adrian, stand up for myself and good people. I will never listen to people lies. It's not right. It's no different, Jeff. Yo, you're, you're fine, Arnie. You ain't got nothing to apologize I just, uh, for, Adrian. Um, Arnie. I hope everybody. We're, I hope everybody's having a good night, a good weekend. I'm like, I'm gonna go buy a Boba Shet card. This is the first time I've seen someone go off the rails like that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I. I mean. Glad you're. Th oh, he's that. The card hunter is his other channel. I don't know if. Glad you're thinking now. Sad you had to block my other account. Enjoy the hobby. There you go. It ain't no fun if the glad card hunter can't have it. Glad you're thinking now. Glad you're thinking now. We are we're grown adults that have we both have good jobs that have nothing to do with the, like we don't make money doing this. This is a hot like a hobby for fun. People that are taking it to this level to the point that you would talk about things the way you're talking about. I think uh I, I think you need to re I think you need to start thinking about things about what's priorities. I understand the concern for avoiding getting kids into the gambling bug that can come up with breaking. I think that's where it's coming from, but I don't think anyone here does that. <sighs> mm. If you're going to convey a message, you need to be very cautious. One on the sensitivity of the subject, because if you say the wrong thing, you're, you're going to kick a hornet's nest. That's for one. 
Number two, none of us in here are offering or talking any type of investment advice. We give our perspective on what we see that's going on in the hobby, and we reemphasize time after time after time that I'm just doing this shit for fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Free $100 break credit to anyone in chat that is a follower to both Infuego and Adrian. Infuego, you give it away how you... Wow. There you go, Arnie. There you go, Arnie. Thank you, Arnie. That's, Appreciate that's you, awesome. Arnie. It's I'm sad. just glad to see that we're not the only ones who think the way we do. I mean, I feel, everything was I, all I feel, fun and games until you I, mentioned kids. I feel, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I wish I could have snapped at this fast. Where I wasn't expecting this in our baseball card channel. Like, Jesus. Yeah, I bet everybody. Yeah, he did say that shit, didn't he? Oh, dumbass. Not for kids. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. But yeah, so those are the things that we got going up. You know, I've got the PSA order coming in. Make sure y'all catch Adrian's live stream tomorrow, 7 o'clock Eastern. If you're on the West Coast, that's 3 p.m. Pacific. Um... Bring some popcorn because I got a feeling it's going to be a long one, kind of, <laughs> unless Adrian's actually working on Monday. I do work on Monday, but not till okay. But, um, but yeah, yeah make guys, some time. Come hang out at the live tomorrow. Yeah. Just to hang out, have fun. You don't have to. If you don't, our, if cards you... will be shown and cards will be for sale, but it, let's hang out. Let's have a good time. Um, I will be, uh, I will watch my language like I usually do. So seriously, what's up with the 5K sub party for you too? We okay, we we've been discussing it every week, and we're like, it like things keep things keep getting out of control. It really got, does. Um, let's see. I'm up to nine thousand subscribers now. A little over nine thousand, Mister Fuego. Is um, over just 5, over six thousand. Just over six thousand. So we <clears throat> maybe tomorrow during the live. I live. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I love DQ cake, freaking cookies and cream, man. Oh my god. Um. Good night, maybe, Adam. Good night, again, Adam. I do apologize in out. advance for the profanity. I know. Shoot, that was a lot of curse words on YouTube. I'm going to get a phone call. Thank you, Arnie. Maybe to, during the live tomorrow, I might bring up a, a like a my blowout cards account or whatever and order stuff right on the spot. That'd be cool. Thank you, Kenny. Buttercream cupcakes for all. All this talk of DQ cake. Laney, you want DQ cake? Uh, Nikki, you ruined me with the buttercream. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. Oh, see her looking. She's like, oh, uh, licking the chops. Licking her chops. She's like, ooh, DQ cake, mom. That sounds great. Oh, Sean is bougie. He wants cheesecake from the okay. cheesecake oh, factory. I don't have a cheesecake factory around here. That's when I go to the Bay Area. That's awesome. You can curse just not in the first twenty seconds and have the video not made for kids. Hmm. Good to know. Okay. All Good of my know. videos are not made for for kids just because of the way YouTube works. But yeah. yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and end it here. We already over that one hour mark. Yeah. Um, do appreciate everybody coming in, hanging out with us, and uh, thank you guys again. I, I wholeheartedly apologize for the way I acted out tonight. It's just, I'm just trying to keep this fun. You know? I, I mean, yeah, I, I'm speechless too. I, I'm speechless a little bit. We were just like, how did we go from baseball cards to? They can regulate women's bodies and like talking about this not being for kids. Like, I don't, I'm I like, don't know Whoa. how one I tied into the other. So, but again, we will catch everybody on YouTube throughout. Make sure y'all there for Adrian's uh, live stream tomorrow, 7 p.m. Have a good night, everybody.